at the end of our tree. Uh, WV Chairs, the Drives and Drews. Um, hello, good afternoon, friends. Um, it's just gone 4 30 on Sunday afternoon. I'm just wanting to have a quick message here to IC5 to be giving me a chip in this town called Bath. Let's start with the Japanese, shall we? I'm only going to just use a hello word, okay? Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa, Japan. I do not consent to you photographing me or stalking me with your camcorders. Okay, comprende? We'll do it a bit in French. Right then, Mandarin Chinese. I'm not so good with the Mandarin Chinese, but a little bit of with Cantonese. I mean, I find it a more enjoyable dialect of the Chinese. I don't like the Mandarin. Even Chinese have learned how to come here. So we'll carry on with you now, Chinese. Do <coughs> Dojo Chinese. Dojo. Hello, Chinese. I do not consent to you photographing me in this town of Bath um, or photo follow me with your video cameras um, and I can't be bothered to try and get comprende in, in dojo. Well, let's next, should we go for the Thailand, shall we? I don't think I've really had any problems from Thai yet, yet. Sordika Pern Cans. Um, my care consent to you shooting me with cameras videos. Now, I've already had to report to my paralegal uh, an incident with a, a Korean girl teamed up with her IC1 uh, partner in, whew, I believe this was within two, two weeks after my interview with the Force Intelligence Bureau in Lewis Police, of Sussex Police, the Lewis Police Station, on the 9th of January at 10am last year. Now this stalking business has got out of control again. All the people I know in Bath, all the homeless, invisible homeless, do complain ab about the IC5 stalking them with cameras. Just always in their face, perhaps not stalking them. But in my case, when they're in their little packs of eight, which is quite frequently, they do try and block areas that as a British woman in England, I should be able to walk through without harassment. Now, I don't know if this is any UN personnel or what or not, but if I may quote, quote even, if I may quote from the United Nations training material, when you are servicing overseas, you are an ambassador for your own country. Always remember that. Because the United Nations cannot get you out of shit, but you are an ambassador for your country. And we all know how much the international community who protect and promote human rights um, think about certain human rights, don't they? like a little African girl, for instance. And why is a little African girl lower than what? A little Swiss girl or a little American girl? No, uh, without telling you I'm, I'm a hip-hop artist or something, we're all skin, flesh and bones and blood, all of us. And uh, don't overvalue your people compared to indigenous peoples of Africa who do not deserve the treatment they have whenever United keep it, peacekeeping um, deployments are in their countries. I've never known so much hatred for the United Nations since all this shit started. I heard all this hate when I got to Geneva, 2015, when I went to visit the United Nations High Commission of Human Rights. That's when I really heard, heard the hate. When people realised I'd heard the hate at the United Nations High Commission of Human Rights in Geneva, then my African friends then were telling me about their hate and why they have their hate. Okay, dusty Dinah Drews. Um, over on our friends, check in later.